Many of the European tourists at the Chantilly Chateau, 40 kilometers north of Paris, had their health pass ready. But for these Americans, all was not well. I was not told I need this. I have a double vaccination. Because that's the new rule. They were told they did not have the right document. They led us into France, but not into a museum. So it's a bit ridiculous. They had no choice but to walk away. Elsewhere in France, at the Cité du Vin in Bordeaux, other visitors had their health pass ready. We looked it up at the internet and we saw that it was necessary. Visitor numbers to the wine museum this July have been on a par with July a couple of years ago. However, the museum director is worried. Ça ne fait que quelques heures, effectivement, que le pass sanitaire est en place, mais l'observation qu'on fait, et euh, on s'y attendait un petit peu, c'est une baisse de la fréquentation d'environ 30% dans un contexte compliqué. The Eiffel Tower in Paris hired 20 people to help process health passes. Visitors, if need be, can get an on-the-spot antigen COVID test. It's free for French people and 25 euros for foreigners. It's negative, so everything's fine. Uh, we, can, we, we can visit the Eiffel Tower now. The introduction of the health pass has not affected the number of foreign visitors. On voit qu'il y a une vraie stabilité euh, du nombre de billets en ligne vendus et euh, par nationalité. Donc euh, on a 13% d'Américains, 33% d'Européens, et ces proportions-là n'ont pas bougé. The Eiffel Tower only reopened last Friday. It's expecting 10,000 visitors per day over the summer.